Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video about these battery modules I recently purchased. These are 24 volt nominal, they are lithium iron phosphate, and they're rated at 4 to 4.5 four kilowatt hours per module. So lithium iron phosphate is a lot safer than most other lithium ion chemistries, and they're also rated for a lot more discharge and charge cycles. So these modules did come with an original BMS, and I can show you that here. Um, I don't know how to program this, and I don't know if it even works anymore. So I scrapped this, and I actually wired in my own balance leads. So these did originally come with these Molex connectors. They're a micro-fit, 3 millimeter spacing. And you can see here that I have these leads balancing half of the pack right now. And then when these finish, I'll be doing the other half. Um, it takes quite a while just because the cells are so large and they're 220 amp hours a piece. And so, yeah, I plan on wiring two of these in series to make a 48 volt nominal pack. And then I will be taking two 48 volt packs so that I can wire those in parallel. So now I'm going to show you how I wired up this Molex connector to set it up so that I could use it as a balance lead connector. Okay, because this is a 10 pin connector, I kind of drew a little drawing here to show you how I wired this up. Um, so the top left is my main battery negative. So this is first cell negative. And then I went first cell positive, which at the current state of charge is about 3.4 volts second cell positive, third cell positive, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. So all of these numbers here are what we should expect to get if we put the negative of a voltmeter here and measure all of these voltages. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I got this all set up. Let's go ahead and take our voltmeter and see what kind of readings we get. So first cell, 3.3 volts. Second cell, 6.7, so that's pretty close. Third cell is 10.1, fourth cell is 13.4, fifth cell is 16.8, sixth cell is 20.2, seventh is 23.5, and total nominal voltage is 26.9. So we know that this balance lead is wired up correctly. And so when we wire these together in parallel, we can use those to wire the first cell of this pack into the first cell of the pack above it when we wire these in parallel. And those voltages will be the same. So now I want to show you how I wired these up so that I could get these voltages here to keep all of these packs in balance because it's very important that you keep these in balance. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, so I removed the cover on this pack just to show you how I wired these in. Now, this is the original plug for the BMS that would originally plug in right here. Um, and I went through and checked all of these with a voltmeter to see which of these wires actually had the, the cell voltages for the 1 through 8 on the whole pack. So when I pulled this apart, I just went through and snipped all the, the cables on this right here for the Molex connector and then I found all of my balance leads from this original plug and just soldered them together and then I used some some shrink tubing just to kind of clean that up and prevent any kind of short circuiting or anything like that across the cells um, and I did this on all four of my packs and after that you can put all this back together and it'll be good to go you can use that as a balance lead now because you're never going to see very much current through here and it'll make sure that your packs last as long as they possibly can. So this also came with a 24 volt fan and I'm probably going to do a video in the future describing what I'm planning on doing with this because at 24 volts this thing's extremely loud and so I'm actually going to undervolt it with a buck converter that you might have seen earlier in the video. So I'll go through and describe that and kind of show how that works but for right now uh, I just wanted to talk about these modules and how I plan on using them. Uh, they're basically just going to be backup power for my sump pump and things like that if the power goes out. 
and I have two and a half kilowatts of solar panels in the back and I'm wiring those in with a Morningstar TriStar MPPT charge controller and all of that's going to get wired together on a single rack so these will all go in the bottom of the rack I'll wire them in parallel and then in series and all of that will be what I use for backup power so if you liked the video give it a like if you have any questions give me a comment and just yeah let me know what you think